वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस क्लास फाइव यूनिट फोर टॉपिक एटमोसफियर सो टूडे इस टॉपिक इज अबाउट द विन गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स द प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न अबाउट द एटमोसफियर इज इन इट चिल्ड्रेन येस डिड यू ऑल रिवाइज इट आई थिंक एवरी वन हैज रिवाइज शैल वी रिकॉल वंस अगेन येस first what topic did we see we saw about the biosphere what is biosphere so the combination of all the three layers what are they lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere is called as a biosphere next we saw about what is atmosphere atmosphere is a blanket of gases which surrounds the earth next we saw about the various gases which presents in the atmosphere what are the various gases oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and other inner gases what are the other inner gases children yes argon neon krypton and xenon the next topic what did we see we saw about the weather whether it is a condition of the atmosphere of a place at a particular time next we saw about the climate what do you mean by climate it is average weather conditions of a place over a given period of time up to this i think everyone are clear the next topic we saw about the solar radiations and its effects so what is solar radiation the earth receives heat from the sun in the form of radiations this is called as a solar radiation next we saw about the various effects of radiation so first thing is about it has the capacity to reflect rays the next we saw about the temperature next also we saw about the factors that determine the weather clear children the next topic we saw about the latitude and the longitude what do you mean by latitude latitude is a imaginary lines drawn horizontally is called as a latitude and the imaginary lines drawn vertically is called as a longitude then what are the main significance of this both latitude and longitude mainly to find out the locations clearly dear yeah, children yes the next topic what did we see we saw about the various heat zones of the earth yes what are the various heat zones we can also apart from other latitudes we also saw about the 0 degree equator the temperate zone torrid zone and the frigid zone so in the center you have the 0 degree equator then lies about that temperate zone and above the temperate zone you can see the torrid zone then up then you can see the frigid zone around the poles clear children next we saw about the himalayas you know which is the highest peak mount everest is the highest peak and it is the largest one and what is the height level of that nearly 8848 meters above the sea level up not only the himalayas the, apart from this there are many peaks like kanchenjunga annapurna like this all these are all although the highest peaks in the world next also we saw about the dotapetta where does the dotapetta lies lies near the nilgiri district in tamil nadu in india it is a very big hill and what is the height level nearly 2637 meters high next topic we saw about the pressure what do you mean by pressure pressure is nothing but it is a force per unit area so when the temperature rises you can see the pressure decreases and when the temperature decreases you can see the pressure increases then the last topic what did we see in that barometer so what is the use of this barometer barometer helps to measure the average pressure of the oceans so it is said that it is nearly 1013 ml clear all of you i think till this we have finished in the last class I, up to this i think everyone has recall and everyone are thorough with that and now we can go to the today's topic which is called as a wind yes everyone are ready yes we can start yes so before going to the topic wind can you tell me what do you mean by wind children yes can you tell me yes 
moving air is called as a wind so here wind is explained as air moves horizontally from high pressure area to the low pressure area is called as a wind so the air never moves in one direction it moves in different directions from time to time clear all of you yes so again repeating the air moves horizontally from high pressure area to the low pressure area is called as a wind so to find out the direction of the wind there is a instrument called as wind vane which you can see in the above picture yes next to find out the speed of the wind there is an instrument that instrument name is called as a anemometer clear to you you have any doubt shall we go to the next topic next one is wind energy so what do you mean by wind energy wind energy is a form of renewable energy which can be reusable one once again so it can con wind energy only converts kinetic energy into the mechanical energy so what do you mean by kinetic energy kinetic energy is possessed by the motion of the body the next the generator can converts this mechanical energy to the electrical energy so again i am repeating wind energy so wind energy is a form of renewable energy which can be reusable again and again then it can converts kinetic energy into the mechanical energy so what do you mean by kinetic energy kinetic energy is possessed by the motion of the body the next one the generator can converts mechanical energy to the electrical energy clear all of you yes you have any doubt yes shall we go to the next topic next topic what you are going to see is what are the different types of wind there are seven types of winds one is planetary wind second one is monsoon wind third one is land breeze fourth one is sea breeze fifth one is local winds sixth one is jet streams and seventh one is cyclones clear shall we go on one by one in detail now yes the first type of wind is called as a planetary wind what do you mean by planetary wind planetary wind this blows throughout the year from one latitude to another in response to the difference in pressure it's called as a planetary wind so it blows from one latitude throughout the year according to the difference in pressure only there is a change in wind this called as a planetary wind this blows in same direction only which involves large area of the globe clear children yes shall we go to the next one the next one is monsoon winds so the term monsoon is right taken from the arabic word mausam it is called as a seasonal winds so the seasonal winds is is nothing but it is a modification of the planetary wind clear all of you so what do you mean by monsoon wind so the term monsoon is taken from the arabic word mausam which is also called as seasonal winds and it is a modification of the planetary wind so monsoon one winds is classified into two one is southwest monsoon and second one is northeast monsoon the southwest monsoon is called as a summer monsoon and the northeast monsoon is called as a winter monsoon so the southwest monsoon summer monsoon always have heavy rains whereas the winter monsoons have only the drift of rain clear all of you so the monsoon winds is also called as a seasonal winds yes shall we go to the next one you have any doubt yes the next one is called as a land breeze so what do you mean by land breeze land breeze carries air from land to sea in the morning okay it carries the air from land to the sea in the 
morning and it has no moisture at all so it makes the dry warm it makes the climate dry and warm whereas in the sea breeze the next one is called as a sea breeze in that it is just opposite to the land breeze so it carries air from sea to the land in the evening and it contains moisture clear all of you i am repeating once again land breeze and sea breeze so the land breeze carries air from land to sea in the morning and it has no moisture at all it makes the climate dry and warm so the sea breeze is also just similar to that just opposite to that it carries air from sea to land in the evening and it contains moisture yes can you understand the difference between the land breeze and the sea breeze yes you have any doubt children yes shall we go to the next one next one is called as a local winds what do you mean by local winds so the local winds includes both land breeze and the sea breeze together is called as a local winds so due to the difference in pressure of land and sea this local winds are produced so there are two types of local winds one is warm local winds and next one is a cool local winds so where does the warm local wind occurs it occurs mostly in northwest india so where does the cool local wind occurs it occurs in the north east india clear all of you so local winds are nothing but it is a includes both land breeze and the sea breeze with due to the difference in pressure in the land and the sea so there are two types of local winds one is warm local winds and second one is a cool local winds so warm local winds where it occurs it occurs in the northwest india whereas the cool local winds occurs in the northeast india up to this clear all of you yes you have any doubt yes shall we go to the next one jet streams what do you mean by jet streams jet streams is nothing but to find out the arrival and departure of the wind in india so here the jet streams are defined as it is a long narrow current of strong winds which blows from west to east again i'm repeating it is a long narrow current of strong winds which blows from west to east so sim as a simple definition what we can define as the air current in the upper layer of the atmosphere is called as a jet streams yes i'm repeating once again so what is jet streams the air current in the upper layer of the atmosphere is called as a jet streams clear all of you it's mainly to determine the arrival and departure of the wind in india clear all of you yes you have any doubt in this yes the next one is called as a cyclones it's also called as hurricane or typhoons so what do you mean by cyclones have you seen that you can see in the above pictures so it's simply defined as low pressure area which having winds which spirally inwards you can see this in the picture that is the wind is blowing which is inward side yes it is spirally inwards it's a low pressure area so here in southern hemisphere we can say that the cyclone rotates in the clockwise direction clear all of you in the southern hemisphere the cyclone rotates in the clockwise direction whereas in the northern hemisphere the cyclone rotates in the anti clockwise direction clear all of you so according to the position and direction of the wind and and the cyclones it differs from time to time
and it receives very heavy rainfall. Clear all of you? So what do you mean by cyclone? It is a low pressure area which having winds which are spirally inward. So in the northern hemisphere you can see the cyclones is rotates anticlockwise whereas in the southern hemisphere it rotates in the clockwise direction. Clear all of you? Yes? You have any doubt in this? Yes. So up to this I think everyone are clear. And today's homework session mention the different types of winds you have studied in the today's session. Yes. So please revise the topics once again and read it carefully. So we will continue the next topic in the next session. Thank you students.